Okay, today we're going to make a project that just prints out the first number of powers for a given number. And this is going to uh, be our first exposure to loops, which are a very, very um, powerful uh, control structure in Java, really, and in all programming. Okay. So, as usual, we're going to import javautil.scanner. We're going to be getting some user input. We're going to print the powers of a given number. Okay. So let's do some initialization. I'm just going to go reasonably quickly through this since I think you've seen this before. This is going to be the number. So the base is the number we're raising to a given power, and the number of powers is how many of those we're, we're, we're calculating. Okay, so we're going to get the base number, number powers. So and we're going to assume that our our base is an integer. It's just going to make things easier and more intuitive. Though, of course, all the all the calculations would, would basically be the same if if the base and I think also if the number of powers were doubles. But it'll make it more intuitive if we just use integers. See here that I, in my haste, left out that. Okay. Ah, and Eclipse is saying, hey, you're using this variable, but you haven't declared it. That's the nice thing about an IDE. It'll catch little stupid mistakes like that. Okay, we're going to close our scanner. Okay. So now, so we're going to, for each power, we're going to calculate some value, which we're going to call val. All right, so now let's look at the workhorse of all. Oh, let me fix this. Hold on. The workhorse of all loops, which is the for loop. So the for loop. Um, has three parts to it. The first part is, uh, you know, they're separated by semicolons. So the first part here is where you can declare one or more variables that you're going to use inside that loop. And these variables only have scope inside that loop. So this means that as soon as the loop ends outside of here, where my cursor is right now, C is destroyed. It no longer exists. It only exists in this little for loop world. And this is, this is useful because if I had another for loop down here, maybe I'd also want to use C as my counter. And uh, that's OK. OK. So we're going to use C as our counter. This basically is what increments things up. Um, it keeps track of how many iterations of our loop we've done. And we're going to say, while C, and actually we're going to call it P for power, so we start at the zeroth power, um, and while our power is less than num powers, then we're going to increment p plus plus. We're going to basically add one to p. Um, that's how that works. Okay. So now we're going to calculate the value of the base raised to current power. 
All right, and here we're going to say val equals, we're going to use the math.pow library, and here you're seeing it, it wants two doubles, and um, even though we've de declared our base and num powers and p as integers, uh, Java has no problem converting these integers to doubles. Um, so it's not going to complain all, uh, about that. Now um, we're going to print that out just pretty straightforwardly. So we're going to say um, base to the, just do a little formatting so we can see things. P equals and then our value like that. Okay, oh, we need a plus in there. Okay, so now let's test this out. So we're gonna start stick with um, our powers of two, and let's print out the first. Let's say uh, four powers of two. Okay, so we see here that two to the zero is one. That makes sense. Two to the one is two, yep. Two to the two is four, two to the three is eight. And you'll notice here that um, these are printing out with a, with a decimal point and a zero because this value here is a double. Whereas these guys, these numbers, their values are integers so they can never have decimal points. So that's why they're printing like that. Um, and let's try another one just to make it more interesting. So let's use powers of three and let's print the first 10 powers of three. Okay, so I don't know my, my powers of three very high up, but I do know that three to the one is three, three squared is nine, three cubed is 27, and three to the fourth is 81. Um, so the rest of these look right as well, reasonably right. And so I'm gonna trust that that looks good. So it looks like our program is working well enough. Hopefully this is your first introduction to loops. Uh, they're generally pretty straightforward and very, very useful. So uh, get used to them because you'll be using them a lot. Okay, that's all for today and good luck in your future projects.